virtual teaching everyone this is the home page that you people see i go to login <clears throat> i type the password i'm logging in there is one faculty which is sir dr salila rakes probably she was not able to sir was able to join or not i'm not sure you can drop the code in the ah sir. Uh, sir in the group like the ask please sir sure sure uh, now okay. see everyone virtual teaching is here now now if this is the dashboard and this is the dashboard this is site administration let me like tell you what are the things which are going to matter for us a lot so now you can count this thing when i am going to highlight things this is the dashboard this is the site administration this is the profile segment where you add things this is customize page these are the things we have done till now if i start explaining uh, then i will also explain site home please see these are the things this one dashboard like this dashboard site home site administration customize page and virtual teaching so these are the things we have done and i'm just taking a screenshot of it so that you don't lose it from your memory also post it to all of you in the whatsapp group don't uh, look at it now dashboard is the place which has got all the courses the calendar uh, some other things which are there like latest announcements if it is possible for all of us to decide what we want to have on the dashboard we can click on customize this page you click on customize this page you get a new button which is called add block the moment you open the editing so if i open the editing only then i'll be able to like do that so what i have done i have opened the editing and you can see on the left hand side there is a button called add a block so i click on add a block and i can add different blocks which are like course categories course lists or announcements or online users and something this is what we do but i'm here i stop customizing this page because i have already customized it the next thing that we'll be doing is that we have been like talking now is the second thing that i highlighted for you that is site home the site home is the home of the, your your site that you have made i clicked on calendar we'll get back to site the site home is the actual thing which is there which is not the dashboard but which is the home for your site where you will see not just the course that you people have are running you will also have this is the course and these are some moodle site things we are going to learn how to remove this thing this is by default there but we will learn how to remove it we'll do it later on it is in the is it is an internal part of appearance and front page setting so genomio has placed it by default for every user so this is here everyone in the site home we don't have no anything other than this available courses and the video of the course is also there private files you can upload in the private files you can upload certain things in advance like you upload on google drive you upload on one drive or you upload on dropbox here i can keep some files saved in advance it is a repository to be like precise about it see resume component was saved by me let me save another file and you will these are the files that i have saved till now and they are saved uh, they are saved in my drive the moodle drive you can call it just to take a common name private files are the uploaded files in the your your 10 gb space which is there now we are moving on dashboard sideboard private files this is the profile thing where you can change the profile you can change some settings also that we are not opting for at present or you can switch your roles also 
switch your role means you can move on to this or that uh, ad blocker you if you have got an ad blocker nalini gopal ji please click on that ad blocker and it will say that allow notifications from this site you will be able to open it then because because the people have uh, things to manage they say that we play display ads we don't charge you money so this is what we want you to do you allow us to display advertisements or open some advertisements though they are not harmful that is just google adsense uh, because according to your history and the things that you people have been doing on your on your internet accounts according to that they customize the advertisements now site administration we are going now site administration we just talked about this we talked about dashboard we talked about site home calendar is a normal calendar and the private files so we are done with these three things revision that way we are moving on to site administration and we'll be working on the revision of site administration also let me go to site administration i'm opening the site administration everyone the options in the science uh, this thing is the the arrangement of different options in the site administration are these taken please remember the presentation which is going to be the presentation which is going to be asked by citvt team should be having screenshots of everything that you are doing on your site you cannot use the screenshots that i am sharing because that those are virtual teaching.genomio.com so the site you are making the powerpoint presentation of 15 slides will be having these things sure so this is there now these are the things users i am going to add users courses plugins appearance server reports and development so what i am opting for is i am just opting for the explanation with you for courses and users i am revising it for you and then we are going to go to users i say courses manage courses and category you can add a course separately or you can add a category separately there is no problem with it but what i'm going i'm going to the same button so that we remember what we did create a new category create a new course we'll say we are not here to create a category we are creating a new course i click on create a new course and then the same menu comes even if i created under the category moodle training i can still change the category when i'm changing it i can it can be life skills it can be soft skills ss1 start from this july not to end id number maybe 21 whatever the code is my university wants it to be csk for students this is the description i'm not putting any summary course format i want it not to be a topic one i want it to be an so single activity so this is single activity number of sections i'll say in the single activity of course it is single so i'm not going to get anything it is a single activity suppose i want to have group discussion like dr basu you if you want to have group discussion and you want group discussion only to be a single activity so even then it is possible that now it is a forum now what do you want if one single activity can also be organized life skills i had added sachin ji you might have missed it in the beginning when i was telling that how to add categories i had added the second category i had added the one more category as a sub category also so i had added it is it was added by me as a category so here it gives me the option so if you are organizing it as a single activity so these are the there like i can only create i don't want to create a course on moodle site i can create an assignment thing only so it will remain only assignment that students are accessing moodle only 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 to submit an assignment uh, remember you give them 3 months project you give them summer internship projects so you can make it single activity also if it is not a teaching course it can also be an assessment course also all these things are there it can be single activity also we can make it a, an assignment option all these things i am not changing i am just going and save and return
now you will return and you will find that under the life skill soft skills has been created but let us save time and move back to the course that we were doing this is the course machine learning i need to share with you how to add an assignment in addition to in addition to going into the chat uh going into the chat what i posted yes we are done with how to add a forum done doesn't mean so see uh, there is one thing that i i wish i i missed telling you uh, i am of the belief that being a teacher like uh, in these uh, 12 13 years of teaching and all these years of learning as a student and as a teacher if you have covered it does not mean they have got the topic if you have covered it doesn't mean they have understood it so this is what i believe if i am covering the topics that does not mean at all that i believe you people have understood it so don't worry about it you will be free to ask me things now what i am doing is i am going to machine learning i am going to add an assignment there as dr basu has also shown us but we have shown shown us but we are going to do it afresh the course is opening everyone i am going to turn the editing on and once i am going to turn the edit i am going to click on this gear this edit button because i am adding editing the course or i'll go to site home from where you can access the course anytime why to go to site administration again and again i am just going to click see this is the course that i added so it has come to my site home it will always be there if someone is like if i say virtual teaching is opened by someone uh can you see this window now i have opened it in, in yeah you can see it my mobile phone shows it see i am opening it without logging in so see this is the site home and these are the courses without logging in if you give this address to the students they will look at these things and suppose one is a student of uh, you say machine learning the person clicks on machine learning and then the person is going to log in into machine learning or for machine learning that way if i am not a student of soft skill now you will know how to add the students we are just doing it if i am not a student of machine learning i when i log in as a student i will not have access to machine learning that is quite clear so it is very safe that way now this is the thing we were doing i am going to this gear which is the sixth thing to remember sixth thing means what dashboard site administration private files 3 customize the dashboard 4 and the profile segment from where you could change your password 5 so this is the sixth thing i want you people to remember and uh, what exactly this thing is this is the gear from where we people turn the editing on the moment you turn the editing on you can edit the structure so here it is now i'm going to add an assignment organic chemistry we are coming with an assignment to you clicked here first is assignment a palm with a, something like it it's an icon of assignment now see students can submit digital content this is what it says and this is the description that once you will need to read once you are done reading with it you will know that what are the things which which are going to give it give to you now i'm going to add assignment assignment is getting added first the assignment will get added what is there in the assignment will be added later on first this activity will be there so assignment is that they should be doing you need to submit this do this survey that write that format that 
suppose you want to attach something like uh, certain times we may need to attach the, a case study for them they people are going to read so you attach it here and then it, it will be downloadable for them but you also want to add an audio you say audio you want to make a video of yourself you make a video you want to bring a video from youtube that you have uploaded because if you upload it on youtube and it is your own video it is on your channel but you can save the bandwidth and the space which is there, the storage which is given to you by, by Genomio. So it is better that we bring something like uh, we have been doing this. And then we go here. This is the description, everyone. You go to video and then you enter and then you insert. I'm not changing the display options. Let it come as it is. I can change this size also. But I'm not doing it. I'm just going to insert this is inserted i can at best do one thing i can bring it to the center the text is also still there okay i need to bring it to the top suppose i have explained everything and then this is what my students will see if I want to show the description it will come to the course page otherwise they have to click on this thing and then they will be able to see this no additional file now availability Thus, because my course is going to start from first and I want this assignment to be given to them on fifth so on fourth I believe I'll be able to cover this topic so from fifth onwards this is the session plan that I have made from 5th onwards, 5th May, the assignment will accept submissions. And due date is, I'm going to give them till 7th of May. They can submit it. 5th of May, it opens. 7th of May, the last date. Cutoff date, I'm not giving any date. Cutoff date is what? It is, the assignment will not accept submissions after this date without an extension. So if I give a cutoff date, like 7 is there, but I believe, okay, 7 is given, but I'm going to make 6 as the cutoff date so that i know who submitted on fifth on sixth if some cutoff is sixth if someone is trying to if someone is trying to finish it if someone is trying to submit it then they have to seek permission i'll get a notification i'll approve i'm disabling it i'm not enabling it remind me to grade now this is one thing a very nice feature uh, suppose they submit it by 7th and you are supposed to grade it. So you set a reminder for yourself. You say by 9th I have to grade it. Remind me to grade by. It says expected date the, that marking of the submission should be completed by. This date is used to prioritize dashboard notifications for teachers. Your dashboard will start getting the notifications that this is pending for you. And uh, these reminders are necessary also. These memos are required to be given to ourselves. What do you want? What I have said, I said submit this and there is a possibility that they will text, enable, no word limit. They can type as much as they want to. Number of files, I'll say five files required. Maximum submission size. Files uploaded by student may be up to this size. Total these files as uh, maybe this might be a clarification to Dr. Basu as well. Total miles seems I say 10 files. Total is 100 MB from one student in that submission in that submission this is what i want accepted file types i'll say anything they can submit an image a pdf a word document or anything so i have marked what i have marked this asterisk or i could go to choose files uh, before that i'll show i remove it i go to choose i say all file types i can see i can decide audio documents powerpoint presentations pptx px all these things are there spreadsheets if you people have asked for microsoft excel csv files or these things we can select only this video files you can give them the format and uh, these are people for the people who know coding all file types they can submit all the files feedback types you want to feedback as comments you say yes because when you people are going to assess their assignment you people will open the assignment in a separate window you will simply click on it uh, you will simply click on it and then you will be able to use it. Uh, Usha Kiranji, big blue button. 
please uh, just help me out one about one thing are you familiar with the big blue button or you just saw it with the, like within the session when we were scrolling down for the resources now feedback comments annotate the pdf do you want this permission to annotate the pdf because once you will annotate it you will make marks and circles and annotations on it it will be saved in and the edited file will go to the student offline grading worksheet now what is offline grading worksheet it means the teacher will be able to download and upload a worksheet with student grades when marking the assignment suppose you do two assignments online and you have taken one assignment offline because of some technical reason or some other reason then you can make an make a sheet of grades and that can also be uploaded to for this assignment suppose you say that i may not be able to like complete everything online because uh, some grading has to be done offline also so we can click it you can upload it later feedback files to be saved to be sent or not if enabled teacher will be able to upload files with feedback when marking this if you people are confused about anything before getting in google or getting worried these blue buttons these buttons are not that blue button that ma'am has mentioned they will help you comment in line you want to inline comment or you say yeah inline comments what is inline now if enabled the submission text will be copied into the feedback comment means when the moment you click on feedback comment the submission text will be followed you have seen it in emails certain times so there also you can keep on guiding them or you can say no i want to make combined or a collective comment on it i don't want to go in line submission settings require the students to click the submit button i'll say no the moment they upload it it will by default come to me or you want them to press the submit button all these are settings which make it a very nice virtual teaching platform require the students to accept the submission statement you can give a submission statement also i am keeping it no they just upload it and that's all attempts reopened you want to reopen the attempts you say no once the people have done it it is the final submission or you people say manually you will open it or automatically until pass see i submitted something you gave me 5 out of 50 i fail i can reattempt the assignment if you have placed the setting for the assignment as automatically until pass but you say no final grades are final grades never i'm not changing any other thing going to grades only in the grade segment we are going by scale default separate and connect ways of knowing default this or btech so i'm going the point way see i we 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 would suggest going the point way because we generally follow this maximum grade is 10 maximum marks are 10 going by the point thing now clicking it select the type of grading used for this activity if you choose scale that we have not chosen you can then choose the scale from the from the drop down menu means there will be a drop down menu where you can give them the grading of a b c that you have set in the grading portion of your moodle site that we haven't learned till now that goes for tomorrow you can then enter the maximum grade available for this activity but we are going point wise simple direct grading that you people will be doing grade category and categorized because we haven't created a grade category that is still awaited to learn grade to pass how many marks will pass uh, for out of 10 we will say at least 5 marks should be there for the person to pass blind marking means do you want to see the name of the student or not you will say yeah blind marking you know blind uh, you know that blind reviews or peer reviews you people have heard so if you don't want to see the name of the student you can make it yes if you want to see the name of the students you can keep it no this much setting it is providing you i'm not changing any other thing and save and return to the course we are just done with the assignment assignment you say activity is first learning you people can put it in the chat if there is any query regarding this assignment testing one has appeared here i can revise it only if you people have got a substantial doubt
we are moving with the group assignment trial uh, uh murli ji which window do you have windows 10 8.1 uh if you you keep a word document open and the moment you click on print screen you simply go to word document and press control v ctrl v so whatever you have clipped whatever you have copied will get pasted there because if we, that thing would be would be easy but if it is windows 10 i have been using shift plus window plus s to take a screenshot now this is assignment name group work changing nothing that way we can open it on 4th of may changing nothing okay you keep it all formats then grade going by 10 marks working on uh, closing it where was it group submission sir here it is now this is what i'm going to do if enabled students will be divided into groups based on the default set of groups or a custom grouping a group submission will be shared among group members and all members of the group will see each other's changes to the submission this is what group setting is i took a screenshot i'm going to our group then posted zoom slide presentation going on don't know fine so this is how we can do the group thing also there are two ways either it will decide them or it will not uh, decide it will be by default you can make custom grouping just sir uh, see uh, we call them cohorts c o h o r t s those class groups or sections or these things we are just going after assignment don't worry so i'm coming back to my course i'm not doing anything so i left i didn't save it we are just done with the assignment things explanation uh, who else is murli ji i just repeated It will be in the clipboard how to screenshot my screen sir uh, i would request everyone to explore whether you can use screencast-o-matic or screencastify now i'm just looking at the queries which are there by anyone no there are no queries can you please put queries about assignment if you people have uh, like thought of it if you remember i asked you people to prepare an assignment statement so what you do is in the assignment thing when we were adding the assignment you people give a description to the assignment suppose i want to uh, want to like want to edit the assignment rather than uh, doing some other things now this is the assignment which has been given by us and this is the grading summary everyone when the teacher opens the assignment so this page will appear it will say participants zero because no participants are there how many submitted how many needs grading and time remaining is seven days and eight hours view all submissions you click on view all submissions and you will see all the submissions one by one and then you give them marks and you grade them but if i go here and i say edit settings it is possible for me to go back to the same settings which were the initial settings of giving an assignment now you can see this thing all the things have reappeared they have resurfaced for us by edit settings for this particular assignment so there are one is turn editing on which happens when you want to make your whole course editable by you and the second is called edit setting when you people want to like this one when you people want to edit a particular segments first end the very first thing so we are moving on with the assignment now what we have done till now is assignment forum chat that's a page we have added that's a url that is again a url this is a file to download this is adding a book 
when you make a book you can keep on putting the things in the content segment and then everything get gets added as a chapter assignment testing we have done we have tried glossary as well let me see what other thing i can like share with you if i click on big blue button now there is one thing that you will find uh, one faculty asked about it uh, big blue button conferencing is available only to donor users as moodle head like shared i'm trying to add big blue button if it is working let me give it a try this is called vir virtual classroom bb that's big blue button all the participants will be there i'm not like recording settings are possible but no settings are there we cannot edit it welcome message welcome to meeting via big blue button participants users enrolled okay all the users which are enrolled will become part of it i'm saying save and return to the course here it is virtual classroom bbb and uh, those of you who have made a course now can you please read this thing those of you who have made a course those of you who have made a course they people can note this thing that you people have got add an activity if you click on add and how to date a date for the virtual class uh, which virtual class if you say big blue button that is not working ma'am so we are not uh, going ahead with it i want to delete it so what will i do i can rename it and if i want to delete it i go to edit and i go to delete delete uh, big blue button not available sir and valid reasons like there is nothing to feel uh, sad about it there are certain things which are not available to people so we have to do the best we can do with the things which are available to us rather than uh, trying to get everything for free to be true a uh, big blue button is available when you people are going to use model on your own university and college servers this training is not given to you to keep on working as uh, islands or isolated individuals we wish that you people collaborate with each other you collaborate within the institution your institution gives you the space because they are always welcoming such things you are api primary thing for my friends or everyone the api that we people have the four quadrant based uh, mooc that you people are going to develop you people will offer it universities and even ugc they people are going to come up with the many things we can say uh, in which virtual teaching and moocs and these things will be promoted your university your college is going to get extra marks or advantage because of this thing so you people are going to in actual organize this particular thing uh, you some of you must have i guess uh, heard about the report probably which has come Uh, by UGC, I haven't gone through the report about examination, but I'm curious about it. What the people have talked, and if you people like uh, look at those things which have been happening around, we know that examinations are going to be a tough thing about 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 this thing. So let's move ahead, finding out if queries are there. uh okay big blue button is not available it is available i'm insisting all the things are available but there are certain things which are premium and those things should remain premium and uh, certain things which are there are not there let's enjoy the lack of things like say let's let's do the best with things now this is what we have done till now now everyone i am left with participants i should be adding participants now we are going to do two things add a new user we are going to learn two things add a new user and upload a user these two things we'll be doing one is adding one user at a time or bulk upload 
so let us go with add one user at a time first we'll be moving on with one user suppose you want to add only one user you don't want to upload many together so we can go with this i'm going add new user see i have reached here i'll go back to site administration because if i have spent time on email id search then you might have missed it i'm going to take only one user at present i'll tell you how bulks are created i go to user there are two things to be created first you are going to create a user for your site you can create 1000 users but out of them you are going to give a particular course to a particular selected students like uh, you have got 2000 or you have got 10000 students in your university you upload all of them once and you allot the course of btech first year to 50 of them and then you allot one particular course for to 60 of them that selection comes for the courses at present we are just uploading the users i'm clicking on add a new user now see what i'm going to do username what username should be given i'm going to go with student s t u d e n t 1 that is easy and what i'm doing manual accounts should be made like setting determines the authentication method used where the users log in only enabled authentication plugin should be chosen otherwise the user will no longer be able to log in so there is no authentication placed by our side so we are making an account manually so we are not going to restrict the use or the login generate password and notify user because i am not giving any password because i am not like willing to give a password or bother about giving a password i say generate the password and send the password to the user and what else do you force change means like generate a password genomio is going to send you or moodle site is going to generate a password and it will come to you on your email but if i say not to generate but i'm going to make a password for you like this this is the password i've made but force change password that can also happen that everyone you what you do is you make a password common for everyone or this person you say what is password you say one two three at the rate one or you say one two three four five and then you tell change the password because the setting is already there you can tell them verbally this is the password but once on their first login the people will need to change it but what i'm opting is i'm opting for generate the password and notify the user i can like uh, what do you say uh i can delete it also because there is no need for it generate what is the first name p r a v w -E e n surname not surname is k u m a r email address is this i guess i have typed it correctly allow city and town i'm not changing country i can make it iceland after india what is the time zone please remember everyone please 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 remember this is the most common error which will happen from your side you will not change the time zone and if you do not change the time zone things are going to change for you things will not appear in in a, in a proper way i'm searching for asia and kolkata asia and kolkata should come here done description of whom my first student or you can say btech first year student user picture you can upload the user's picture but we won't do it they will do it there on their own so minimum things from my side are first name surname email address this is what i do i give a username to the student and i generate a password and notify the user praveen kumar ji stay alert not now but after some time you will get an email that you have been added to a course i'm creating the user let us see whether it creates a user or not a user created here it is i've got five users now these are the users so what i'll do i'm deleting the older ones because we are going to go from the beginning the first batch email id was there uh i request everyone to kindly stop their video so that you can save internet
now you can see my screen again i have reclaimed the presentation rights so these are the email ids and you can see this person is there this person is also there and these two are also there this person this is the bottom one is the admin of it and because the name is virtual teach him i have used my another email id which is this one and nine days ago i had logged in rc mooks was also invited the user invited has not accessed the course in which the user was enrolled user does not mean a course is allotted user just mean you have got them into the university or the the site or the lms or the platform but you still need to enroll them in a particular course that is required that way mr praveen kumar praveen dot rpj at the rate gmail.com has not been enrolled in any course so i'm going to site administration again and when i'll be into site administration i'll go to the user segment again in the user segment everyone there is a there is a thing called upload users so i'm requesting you i copied one email id yes i did suresh kumar ji so i am copying it first name its so last name is k k this is student 3 okay let me make it student 2 because one we have already allotted this is the username through which they people will be logging in i am i need one more email id if someone has shared i am just making an csv file the format i have shared with you otherwise also if you want to make it a csv file you make an excel sheet put these details the same format there is no space between first name it is first name attached to each other last name email and username these four columns are there there is no serial number there is no formatting being done so you go to file in the file you go to save as in the save as you decide the place where you want to save it and then what you do you decide you go to like in the save as type you decide what format you want so if it would have been excel sheet excel workbook you can select select csv comma delimited you save it so it is being saved on the desktop save as otherwise i have given you the format you can use that format also i have added two users means uh, in into my records i need more email ids okay 11111 green ji has shared someone else shared it just one more email id please oh thank you very supportive everyone Uh, but i would also need your okay neeraj ji your email id email id email id okay got it i'm i'm just making neeraj yadav a user and while i am typing your first name and last names do let me know i'm making it student 3 and i can use this one also and this is what is the you say last thing i would be doing i'm using this in removing the hyperlink paste this student 3 you say student 4 these are the enrollment numbers or the user names i'm giving them 1 2 3 4 and it can also be suppose what i have done i have created a csv file everyone student 1 2 3 4 5 first name last name and this and i'm stopping with it now i'm keeping this file intact suppose i have got 1000 people to be added i'm going to add them i'm just minimizing it moving on to my site thinking about that one user we created but we admitted the student like brought the student but we did not allow anything to the student we did not give anything to the student now this is site administration we have added so and so if i go to users i can see that i have got some users which are there in my enrollment 
but they are not enrolled in a particular course. Browse the list of users. Site administration is going to be on your mind for these two days. These are the users. One, two and three. And see Eklavya Sharma and virtual teaching, they have been last access was 27 seconds. Let me go to dashboard. First we have added users. We have added one user under site administration users. Now we are moving on to course, which was model training category and machine learning. I have added users. Now I'm adding them as participants in a particular course. Being user does not give them access to a particular course. They simply remain in my database. The, they simply remain in my database. Email does not arrive, sir. Arun Raja MG. If I have added you as a user or a participant, only then it will come. At present, we added just Praveen G. Now, see, is there any participant visible here in machine learning? No. There is no one. But you remember there were three users. One, one is Eklavya Sharma, one is Praveen, and one is another Praveen. So, what I'm going to do, I'm clicking on enroll users. How I have reached here? What is the path? The path has been dashboard courses modal training machine learning click on participant and this is what the participant is you click on this participant and you go to enroll users once you click on enroll users it will open an interface for you and that interface will allow you to select a person as participant from the database that has been created by you making them users of your site enroll the user sir now see no selection if i am going to search i am expecting that only three names are going to appear here it is praveen kumar rgp added added and i'm also adding my own self you can add yourself also as a student three done what role you want to give them these are the roles i'll say i want to make them students only these are other things that we are not starting from. You say their enrollment should start from today itself. Now, if I make it later, so they will be able to log in only later. Enroll users. Praveenji, you are going to get that thing. Uh, we people are moving out for these 10 minutes. Meanwhile, he is going to get the email as a user. You can see there are three users now. Even I will be getting an email here. I will be sharing the screenshot of that. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, I, I can log in, sir. Uh, sir, now you check it out. Have you got an email? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, with the help of same email ID and uh, username, mm -hmm. I can log into that. Uh, can you uh, share? Virtual learning can, can, can you can you do one thing? Can you take a screenshot and post it in the group now? After logging. Yeah, yeah. After